we are going to look at 10 cool commands we can explore in the command line interface of the command prompt window now let's open command prompt as an administrator so you can see that i have this option here and i'm going to choose this first option you have a pop-up window to allow this app so you choose yes now you have this window which is the command prompt window and this window is open in the administrator mode because on the title bar you can see that we have administrator and also command prompt i'm going to adjust this window now the first command that we are going to look at in this particular video is the wmic command which stands for windows management instrumentation command line this command helps you to pull out certain information from your computer system you can also integrate other commands to this command to get a list of installed softwares on your computer system so you are going to type this command this is the wmic command and we can integrate this with other information such as computer system then we type the next command which is get so with the wmic and also the get command this is going to help us to pull a certain information from our computer system and the first information we want to pull out is the model of this computer so i'm going to type model then i'm going to hit the enter key now this is the model of this computer system which is h110mh pro which is d4 and this operating system actually is windows 11 pro and this is the model of this computer system another information that you can pull out through this command is to get the name of the computer system so i'm going to use the app arrow key to reveal this command and i'm going to erase the model and type name now this tells me that this is the name of this computer which is desktop edp kkv4 and this is the name of this computer system we can also pull out other information such as the system type i'm going to use the app arrow key erase the name and type system type and i'm going to hit the enter key now this tells me that the system type of this computer system is x64 this operating system of this computer system lies on the 64-bit version and this is a 64-bit base pc so as you can see if it is 32 bit you are going to have it as 32 but since i am using the 64 bit base pc that is the system type of my personal computer the next information we can pull out is the manufacturer name so we use the app arrow key without retyping the command you can always use the app arrow key to reveal previous commands that can be edited or modified to get additional information so i'm going to erase system type and type manufacturer and i'm going to hit the enter key now the manufacturer of this computer system is the biostar group so the biostar group is the manufacturer of this particular computer system so this is the first command in this particular video and that is the wmic command and as i said it stands for windows management instrumentation command line we are moving to the next command which is to type the help command the help command in command prompt or in the command line interface of cmd reveals all commands and its descriptive test and these are in two columns we have the command names and we have the explanation of these commands so when you access any of these commands you get its descriptive definition or explanation and that tells you the function or the capability of that particular command the next command which is the third command is to type the help clip So I have this command in this command line, which is help clip command. And I have the pipe symbol separating the help command and also the clip option. Therefore, if I hit the enter key, this is going to get the information about the help command and clip this into the clipboard 
of the computer system therefore if i open any editable or any word processing application i can paste this particular information into that or i can paste this into any application on my computer system so let's try an example i am going to open the notepad application now this is the notepad application window and if i hold ctrl plus v on the keyboard this is going to paste the information or the output of the help command in the command prompt window and i have the option to edit certain part of it and after doing so i can go to file choose save or save us and i'm going to save this on my desktop and then give a file name to this and i'm going to click on save now when i close this window and get to my desktop i have this file name here therefore i have clipped the output of the help command in this particular file and i can share this with any other computer user especially if the user want to identify the commands in the command prompt window and how to utilize them so i can share this file with any other computer user in the computing environment the next command is the help color this provides you the help color information and this says set the default console foreground and background colors so this gives you the option to change the background color and also the foreground color of your command prompt window and the background color is the color of this particular palette or the space while the foreground is the text or the color of the text that you can modify so when you scroll down it says specifies color attributes of console output and these are the color numbers and alphabet representation and when you type color and type any of these numbers of letters that is going to change your foreground or your background so in this case i have this line when i type color and type one this is going to give me a blue foreground so these numbers that we have here and letters that we have here will tell you which one should be the foreground and which one should be the background i can also type this command and i'm going to have this green foreground and i still have my background as black and this brings me back to the foreground which is white and this is the command that i typed in this line of path so this is the fourth command in this particular video the next command that we are going to look at is the help prompt now the help prompt changes the cmd.exe command prompt and this tells you that specifies a new command prompt you can change you can modify the look and feel of your line of path and other syntax so this is what the prompt tells you prompts can be made up of normal characters and the following special codes so you can have normal characters in your command line interface and also you might have special characters as well so these characters that we have here are all special codes you can utilize we have the dollar sign and some letters and what you can do is to type the prompt command and add these letters and that is going to perform an action let me illustrate an example to you when i type the prompt and type this that is learn and hit the enter key now you can see that i have this as a line of path and what this is telling us is that this particular line of path is replacing this particular line of path therefore if i perform any action in this line that is going to take place in this line of path so this is a representation of this line of path so take note any action whether creating a directory creating a file that is going to be operated in this particular line that is going to affect or take place in this line of path i'm going to have the greater than symbol in front of this line of path therefore what i'm going to type is the prompt so you make sure that after typing this prompt line you have the dollar symbol and the letter g because when you move to the R syntax it says the dollar symbol and the letter g gives you the greater than sign 
therefore because i mistakenly typed the percentage symbol i couldn't get the greater than symbol now that i have this here i can create a folder i can create a text file and that is going to take effect in this line of path and as i said earlier anything that goes on in this path is going to affect this so i'm going to create a folder and because this folder name that i have for this directory are with three individual names i'm going to place them in the quotation mark therefore i'm going to hit the enter key when i do so this folder has been created in this line but it is mainly found in this line of path which is this current location that is system 32 therefore if i open my file explorer and then i'm going to move to the navigation pane select local dc that is my local dc that is selected move to windows and then in windows we are going to look for system 32 and this is system 32 you double click and then in this list we are going to look for the folder that we just created and this is the folder here that is today is good therefore because this is in the administrator mode and also performed in the command line interface when i select this move to my command bar and choose the delete command this tells me that you will need to provide administrator permission to delete this folder therefore you can choose continue skip or cancel so i'm going to choose continue because i am the owner and also the administrator of this computer system now when we get back to this and we want to switch back to our normal line of path then we are going to type this command this is an advanced way of working within command line interface now i have typed prompt dollar sign and the letter p and also dollar sign and the letter g now what does this stand for the dollar sign and the letter p when you move to the syntax it says this brings out the current drive and the path therefore we want to switch back to this and this is the current drive and also the path here this is the current drive which is look at the c and the path is windows and system 32 therefore this is going to be activated and also we want the greater than symbol to be appeared over there and that is the dollar sign and the letter g so if i hit the enter key this brings me back to this normal line of path so as you can see this is an advanced command you can use in the command prompt window the next command is to schedule your shutdown process of your computer system and we are going to use the shutdown command and this time around i'm going to type 3600 and that means i'm going to schedule my shutdown process within 60 minutes so if i hit the enter key I'm going to have this prompt at the right side of this Windows interface and that is going to tell me the schedule time and date and the duration that is going to spend for this particular computer system to shut down. Therefore, this is going to be within 60 minutes. Now, let's assume I want to cancel this shutdown process. Then the next command is to type the shutdown. So I'm going to review the previous command and type the minus sign and the letter a now when i hit the enter key this also brings out a pop-up information at the right bottom corner that says the shutdown schedule has been cancelled and these two commands can help you to schedule a shutdown process or cancel a shutdown process the next command is to change the title of your command prompt window currently i have administrator command prompt I want to change this command prompt to another name so i'm going to type the title command now when i hit the enter key and get back to my title bar of this cmd window i have this replacing the command prompt so this is a quick way of changing the title of your title bar of cmd window the next command in this video is the f7 key this key is going to reveal all the typed commands that you had in the command prompt window so if i maximize this window and press the letter f7 this is the command that can be located here therefore you can use your arrow keys to navigate through these commands 
if possibly you want to select any of the commands and activate them so these are the 10 cool commands you can utilize in the command prompt interface if this video has been of helpful please like share and also comment and let's have some collaboration in the comment section in this particular video and please if you are new to this channel i will urge you to consider to subscribe and be part of this great community we are always ready to learn together and boost our productivity level